When it comes to nucleic acid amplification, PCR is one of the most common processes. The COVID test, for example, uses PCR. But there are also other methods of amplification that are promising yet not as well known, such as rolling circle amplification, RCA, and rolling circle transcription, RCT. Both processes work by circularizing a linear sequence of a single-stranded DNA called a padlock probe. The padlock probe is designed to have arms complementary to a specific target sequence. Both processes are outlined in three steps. First, hybridization. The target binds the arms of the padlock, bringing the ends of the padlock probes together. Second, ligation. A ligase connects the ends, circularizing the padlock. This last step differentiates RCA and RCT. For RCA, the target acts as a primer for a DNA polymerase to attach and read the padlock, synthesizing a long DNA sequence consisting of repeats of the complementary sequence of the padlock. For RCT, RNA polymerase transcribes the padlock, resulting in a long repeating RNA sequence. RCA and RCT are beneficial because you can design the specific sequence to be amplified in response to a specific target. Padlock probe's ability to detect very short targets is also useful when it comes to tasks like detecting microRNA. Overall, RCA and RCT are very unique methods of nucleic acid amplification that are progressively receiving more attention and being more applied in biology, biotechnology, and nanotechnology.